Hi, uh, I am a lecturer, assistant professor at uh, Van Yüzyıl University, Turkey. Uh, now it's called Turkey, but previously we say Turkey. Uh, I'm also the coordinator of international relations, uh, and we are coordinating the exchange program of the students. Our university is situated in the eastern part of Turkey, Turkey, and it is on the shore of the second biggest soda lake of the world so we have a great area and the second biggest area campus of turkey uh, we have about 30,000 students 15 18 faculties uh, 10 vocational schools and five institutions it means that uh, it is a wonderful place and a special a student village let's say uh, in the eastern part of turkey uh, so uh, we have erasmus program and we have different kind of erasmus projects also we have Eurodesk contact point at our university it means that we are responsible for giving uh, information about europe and the opportunities for youth people uh, so that's all about our university Actually, I have been abroad for many times in, term, in terms of Erasmus programs, Erasmus projects, but this is the first time that I took a staff training program. Uh, why did I choose uh, to have such a program? Because, you know, uh, we, as an international office coordinator, uh, we have to be together sometimes in order to uh, talk about the challenges and the opportunities that international offices encounter. So uh, I would like to come to Bordeaux especially because uh, it is a kind of uh, city of students. There are many students and um, Bordeaux Montaigne University is especially pioneering university in the Europe, uh, especially for humanities, for languages. So. Uh, um, I, I think that for uh, future opportunities of our university and having different kinds of uh, collaboration and agreements, uh, we need to be together. That's why I choose uh, Bordeaux Montaigne University. Oh, this day is wonderful. It's fascinating because, you know, when you are walking around the city, uh, you take the smell of history in every step. And you see many students around. The uh, density of you, youth uh, in the city as a lecturer fascinating me. So uh, in every step, you see a kind of university, for example, Bordeaux University, Bordeaux Maintain University, different kind of faculties. Uh, the history of academics, I mean, the history of academia uh, fascinated me. Uh, therefore, uh, it is a wonderful trip, not only being in this university, but also being in Bordeaux. Bordeaux is a fascinating university for students, for youth people. Actually, I have been uh, abroad, Finland or other countries, in European countries, uh, but this is the first time I have been in uh, France, and this is the first time I have been in Bordeaux. Uh, I have heard about Bordeaux history. I have heard about the academic history, academic heritage, and the historical heritage of Bordeaux. Therefore, I'm planning to make uh, such a uh, staff mobility program to do it. And I'm very happy that you accept us and also we invited you to our university. So this is the first time I have been in France and I have been in Bordeaux. That's all. Okay. Of course, I recommend all of the uh, lecturers, all of the academicians and all the students. Why? Because Bordeaux uh, both is an historical uh, city and it is also a, a university city. I mean, uh, it is very easy to reach every university, to reach academic studies. Uh, the universities are open to people. Uh, it's fascinating. I mean, in the city center, you can directly go to the Bordeaux University or in Bordeaux Montaigne University, you see many students around. And 
you know, it is a kind of university without borders. It is open to students. Therefore, I recommend all of my uh, colleagues and all the students to come to Bordeaux and especially Bordeaux Mountain University.